हेलो स्टूडेंट आई एम मेरू गोंडलिया एंड यू आर वाचिंग स्कूल ऑफ फिजिक्स टुडे वी विल टेक ए प्रॉब्लम ऑन फोरियर सीरीज विथ पीरियड टू पाई टेक ए प्रॉब्लम डेड्यूस फोरियर सीरीज ऑफ ए फंक्शन एफ ऑफ एक्स इक्वल टू एक्स प्लस एक्स स्क्वेर फॉर माइनस पाई लेस देन एक्स लेस देन पाई एंड डेड यूज दैट पाई स्क्वेर अपॉन सिक्स इक्वल टू वन प्लस वन अपॉन टू स्क्वेर प्लस वन अपॉन थ्री स्क्वेर प्लस वन अपॉन फोर स्क्वेर प्लस सो ऑन इट इज क्लियर फ्रॉम द एक्सप्रेशन दैट द गिवन फंक्शन इज नाइधर इवन नॉर ओल्ड इफ यू आर कन्फ्यूज रिगार्डिंग दैट देन फॉलो दिस प्रोसेस Let f of x equal to x plus x square for minus pi less than x less than pi. Say equation one. Take x equal to minus x. Therefore, f of minus x equal to minus x plus minus x square for minus pi less than minus x less than pi. Now change the signs of inequality and that of quantities. Therefore, f of minus x equal to minus x plus x square for pi greater than x greater than minus pi. Now write the interval in inverse order. Therefore, f of minus x equal to minus x plus x square for minus pi less than x less than pi. Say equation two. Comparing equation one and two, we say that. f of x is not equal to f of minus x and also f of x is not equal to minus f of minus x in given interval therefore our function is neither even nor odd hence we will calculate all the three coefficients a0 an and bn the formula of a0 is a0 equal to 1 upon pi integral minus pi to pi f of x dx and which is equal to 1 upon pi integral minus pi to pi now f x equal to x plus x square into dx expanding it we write this formula into two parts which is like a0 equal to 1 upon pi into this plus 1 upon pi into this by integrating a0 equal to 1 upon pi into integration of x that is x square upon 2 with limit minus pi to pi plus 1 upon pi into integration of x square that is x cube upon 3 with limit minus pi to pi now substituting the upper and lower limits we get a0 equal to 1 upon pi into bracket pi square minus minus pi square upon 2 plus here 1 upon pi into pi cube minus minus pi cube upon 3 so after simplification here we get 1 upon pi into this here minus pi square that is plus pi square and here minus pi cube that is minus pi cube so this is zero because here pi square minus pi square and here pi cube minus minus pi cube that is pi cube plus pi cube and so it is 2 pi cube therefore a0 equal to 1 upon pi into 2 pi cube upon 3 1 pi is cancelled with this pi and therefore a0 equal to 2 pi square upon cube this is the fourier coefficient a0 a n equal to 1 upon pi integral minus pi to pi f of x cos n x dx This is equal to one upon pi integral. Here we put the value of f of x, that is x plus x square into cos n x dx. Expanding form, it becomes a n equal to this. Now integration of both these terms, we here apply integration by parts formula. That is integral u v dx equal to u v one minus u dash v two plus u double dash v three. For this term. we need two terms of the formula if we compare this integral with this one then we here u equal to x 
and v equal to cos n x. So, by applying this formula, we can write a n equal to 1 upon pi into here u and u equal to x. So, we put here x into v 1 that is integration of v and v equal to cos n x. Therefore, we put here sin n x upon n limit minus pi to pi minus u dash that is differentiation of x which is 1. So, we put here 1 into v 2 that is integration of v 1 that is integration of sin n x upon n. Therefore, we put here minus cos n x upon n square limit minus pi to pi plus 1 upon pi. Now, for this term we need 3 terms of the formula. If we compare this integral with this one, then here u equal to x square and v equal to cos n x. So, we apply this formula here u and u equal to x square. So, we put here x square into v 1 that is integration of v and v equal to cos n x. Therefore, we put here sin n x upon n with limit minus pi to pi minus u dash that is differentiation of x square which is 2 x. So, we put here 2 x into v 2 that is into integration of v 1 and that is integration of sin n x upon n. Therefore, we put here minus cos n x upon n square limit minus pi to pi plus u double dash that is differentiation of u dash and u dash equal to 2 x. Therefore, we put here 2 into v 3 that is integration of v 2 that is integration of minus cos n x upon n square and therefore, we put here minus sin n x upon n cube limit minus pi to pi. Now, this term, this term and this term are sign terms and when we put the value of limit then we obtain the terms which sin n pi which is 0 and sin minus n pi which is also 0. Therefore, these three terms becomes 0 and remaining part of the expression is a n equal to 1 upon pi into cos n x upon n square limit minus pi 2 pi plus 1 upon pi into 2 x cos n x upon n square limit minus pi 2 pi. Putting the value of limits, we get a n equal to 1 over pi into cos n pi minus cos of minus n pi upon n square plus 1 upon pi into 2 pi cos n pi minus minus 2 pi cos minus n pi upon n square. In this term, cos of minus n pi equal to cos n pi and therefore, cos n pi minus cos n pi equal to 0. So, this term equal to 0. Therefore, a n equal to 1 upon pi into 2 pi cos n pi plus 2 pi cos n pi upon n square. That is a n equal to 1 upon pi into 4 pi cos n pi upon n square. Here this pi pi cancel therefore a n equal to 4 cos n pi upon n square. This is the Fourier coefficient a n. Now, b n the formula of b n equal to 1 upon pi integral minus pi to pi f of x sin n x d x. Putting the value of function f x we get b n equal to this. By expanding it we get b n equal to these two terms. Here also we will apply integrating by parts formula for both the terms that is integral u v d x equal to u v 1 minus u dash v 2 plus u double dash v 3. For first term we require two terms. If we compare this integral with this one then here u equal to x and v equal to sin n x. So, by applying this formula we can write b n equal to 1 upon pi into here u and u equal to x. So, we put here x into v 1 that is integration of v and v equal to sin n x. Therefore, we put here minus cos n x upon n limit minus pi 2 pi minus u dash that is differentiation of u and that is 1. So, we put here 1 into v 2 that is integration of v 1 
that is integration of minus cos n x upon n. Therefore, we put here minus sin n x upon n square with limit minus pi 2 pi plus 1 upon pi into for this term we need 3 terms of the formula. If we compare this integral with this one then here u equal to x square and v equal to sin n x. So, by applying this formula we can write here u and u equal to x square. So, we put here x square into v 1 that is integration of v and v equal to sin n x. Therefore, we put here minus cos n x upon n limit minus pi 2 pi minus u dash that is differentiation of x square which is 2 x. So, we put here 2 x into v 2 that is integration of v 1 that is integration of minus cos n x upon n. Therefore, we put here minus sin n x upon n square with limit minus pi 2 pi plus u double dash that is differentiation of u dash and u dash equal to 2 x. Therefore, we put here 2 into v 3 that is integration of v 2 that is integration of minus sin n x upon n square and therefore, we put here cos n x upon n cube limit minus pi 2 pi. Now, this sign term and this sign term becomes 0 because when we put its value of limit we get sin n pi and sin of minus n pi which are 0. Therefore, b n equal to 1 upon pi into minus x cos n x upon n limit minus pi 2 pi plus 1 upon pi into minus x square cos n x upon n limit minus pi 2 pi plus 2 cos n x upon n cube limit minus pi 2 pi. Putting the values of limit of integrations, we get b n equal to 1 upon pi into minus pi cos n pi plus minus pi cos of minus n pi upon n plus here 1 upon pi into minus pi square cos n pi plus minus pi square cos of minus n pi upon n plus 2 into cos n pi minus 2 into cos of minus n pi upon n cube which is equal to 1 upon pi into minus pi cos n pi minus pi cos n pi upon n plus 1 upon pi into bracket minus pi square cos n pi plus pi square cos n pi upon n plus 2 cos n pi minus 2 cos n pi upon n cube. Here this minus pi square cos n pi and plus pi square cos n pi 0 and in this term 2 cos n pi minus 2 cos n pi becomes 0. So, these two terms are removed remaining part of the equation that is b n equal to 1 upon pi into minus 2 pi cos n pi upon n here pi pi cancel that is minus 2 cos n pi upon n this is the Fourier coefficient b n. Now, Fourier series is f of x equal to a 0 by 2 plus this substituting the value of coefficient a 0 a n and b n we get f of x equal to 1 upon 2 into a 0 that is this one plus summation n equal to 1 to infinitive here a n equal to this one into cos n x plus summation n equal to 1 to infinitive into value of b n that is this one into sin n x. After simplification we get this term in this term we take for outside the summation and here minus 2 take outside the summation. In expanding form it is written as f of x equal to pi square upon 3 plus 4. Now, here we put the value of n 1, 2, 3, 4, so on. So, we get these cosine terms minus 2. Here also we put n equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, so on. Therefore, we get these sine terms. By readjusting the negative sign we get f of x equal to pi square upon 3 here we take negative sign from the bracket with this 4. So, minus 4 into this one and here we readjust this negative sign with negative sign of the bracket. So, we get plus 2 into this. This is the required form of series. Now, put x equal to pi in this series and 
f of x equal to x plus x square. Therefore, series is written as pi plus pi square equal to pi square upon 3 minus 4 into this one. Here as we take x equal to pi, so all the sign terms becomes 0, so sine series is removed. And in cosine terms, when we put x equal to pi, then they are like this x equal to pi, then it is minus 1, 2 pi that is plus 1, 3 pi that is minus 1, so on. So, we obtain this type of series. Now, put x equal to minus pi, so we obtain this type of series, that is the sign are inverse. Adding this 2, therefore, 2 pi square equal to 2 pi square upon 3 minus 8 into this transfer this term on left hand side and simplifying we get 2 pi square minus 2 pi square upon 3 equal to 8 into this. After simplification we get pi square upon 6 equal to this one. So, this is the required form of the series. In next video we will take one more example on Fourier series with period 2 pi. Write your suggestion in comment box. Please like and share this video and subscribe my YouTube channel School of Physics. Thank you.